Hi, boys and girls. We are now moving into the story for Lesson 74 called The Animal Show. Remember, our main characters are Waldo, who works at a pet shop that's run by Maria. So here we go. The, the Animal Show. During the third week that Waldo worked at the pet shop, Maria put the sign in the window of the pet shop. And it said, Super Animal Show, Friday, April 4th at 7 o'clock in the evening at Samson High School. You're going to come and see Gomer the Rabbit, Walk the Tightrope, see five trick dogs, see Henry the Cat ride a bicycle, see Dino the smartest pony in the world. Admission, $1. Every day that week, a large crowd gathered in front of the pet shop after school. Maria would walk outside and say, Today we'll show you some of the things that you'll see at the show this Friday night. Then she would introduce Waldo to the crowd. She would say, This is Waldo Green. He's the person who trained these animals. Waldo would wave to the crowd and feel embarrassed as they applauded. Then Waldo would bring some animals outside and the animals would put on one of the tricks. One day, he brought out one of the trained dogs. This dog held a little hammer in its mouth. Waldo put a row of glasses in front of the dog. Each glass had some water in it, but no two glasses had the same amount of water. When the dog tapped a glass with a hammer, the glass would make a ringing sound. Here's the rule about the sound each glass made. The more water in the glass has, the lower the sound it makes. If the glass is almost empty, it makes a high ring. If the glass is almost filled with water, it makes a very low ring. Maria told the crowd, This dog is named Homer, and Homer is going to play Mary Had a Little Lamb on these glasses. Waldo patted the dog on his head and said, Play the tune. The dog started to tap different glasses. The crowd recognized the song and started to sing as the dog tapped. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. When the dog finished playing the song, it stood on its hind legs and tossed the hammer high into the air. Waldo caught the hammer and threw a little bit of food high into the air. The dog caught the food. The, clout, the crowd clapped and cheered. Do it again, some people said. Then other people joined in. Yes, do it again, do it again, do it again. Okay, Waldo said. He hope we'll do it one more time. Waldo gave the hammer back to Homer, patted Homer on the head, and said, play the tune. The dog played the tune again without making one mistake. The crowd clapped. Maria held up her hands to the quiet the crowd. Remember, she said, this is just one of the acts that you may see this Friday night at Samson High School. Bring your friends and your family. On the following afternoon, Waldo had two parrots do tricks on the little swing. Oops, sorry, boys and girls. The parrots did some amazing things. They held on to the swing with their beaks. They did somersaults on the swing. One parrot stood on its head of the other parrot, and both parrots did a giant somersaults. Then one parrot held on to the tail feathers of the other parrot, and they spun around and around as the swing went back and forth. From time to time, Waldo would toss a little bit of food to the parrots, and they would catch the food in their beaks. Again, the crowd went wild. Again, Maria reminded the crowd that the pet shop would put on a full show that Friday night at Samson High School. She reminded the people to bring their friends and family. Remember, she said, the admission is only one dollar. Waldo looked at the people who were lined up outside Samson High School. Wow, he said, I think they all brought their friends and their families. There was a line of people that went all the way out to the sidewalk and halfway around the block. Maria said to Waldo, the show will start in less than an hour, so you better go inside and start cooking your food. Right, Waldo said. He had brought all the things he needed to cook. There was a large kitchen in the high school, so he and Maria had decided to do the cooking in the high school. They thought, and let me show you the picture. There's Homer, the dog with a hammer. 
And do you see how the water is small down to the left and goes up high? And that makes the sound change from the water. And here are the two um, parrots swinging on the swing. All right, let's, so let's see. Waldo and Marie are going to start cooking the food. They planned it would be better than cooking in the pet shop and then bringing the food over in the car. Maria had pro uh, pointed out, if you cook at the high school, we won't have a thousand animals following the car over to the high school. So Waldo went to the kitchen of the high school. He laid out the things he wanted to cook. Then he turned on the stove and waited for it to get hot. He waited and waited and then suddenly realized that the stove was not working. He ran from the kitchen and found Maria. I can't cook, he said. The stove doesn't work. Maria didn't say anything for a moment. Then she said, I'll go back to the pet shop, get some pet food that is supposed to be really good. I just hope the animals will work for that food. Me too, Waldo said. Boys and girls, what do you think might happen? Do you think the animals are going to work for the food? That comes from the pet shop and not the one that Waldo cooks? I guess we'll have to wait till next week to find out. Boys and girls, click on the form to answer some questions about the story we just read. Take care. Now we'll talk to you soon.